What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, everybody. Do this real quick. All right, I'm back in the building. Now. I'm take care of things up here in the ceiling, as they would say, but... Uh, I'm going to talk about the thing, I'm going to talk about uh, lessons that we learned from the Great Recession. As you know, we all had a Great Recession, we all been through it. started off over in uh, Europe, apparently, and it kicked over in here, and they say we're getting out of it. I see signs we are, I see signs that it's growing, but it's not growing as much as they say they're growing. I see Americans spending, I see Americans not spending. It's to the eye of the beholder here. So uh, let me talk about what's the lessons that we learned. Uh, some lessons learned have developed into a more like a slower pace. Like I said, it's more of a slower pace, but it's a durable economy here in the United States. Uh, you no, know, we're dealing with the, uh, uh, the pay stagnation. Your pay isn't like what it used to be uh, before the recession, because well, that, they can bless so they blame the economy. Obamacare just came. To, it didn't, Obamacare didn't come on time. I can see if Obamacare came when America was paying, their money was at, like the same, but your dollar isn't what the dollar was at least in, at, even at the 90s, it wasn't, you know, it's not that much. You know, it was worth more back then than it is now, so Obamacare didn't come too well. Uh, so, like, people, fewer people are, are tackling, they're adding on debt, they're tackling their debt. I mean, they're not adding as much credit to their like, credit cards. And more debt. I mean, I see they are giving away. They are still selling houses and cars, but people aren't going crazy like they were before. A lot of people are starting to read their contract finally. Uh, what else? Like I said, they're taking on mortgages that they can afford. Not no, not a gamble. Growth is more su sustainable. It is full of ups and downs. Banks are more profitable. You know, they're holding on to cash for backup against another market meltdown. You know, workers are going back to school for their education. And that's another part of the economy. If you notice in this economy, a lot of a lot of people with even master's, well, master's degrees and degrees period are taking lower paying jobs just to work. And this, this economy is what you want to call an employer's economy right now. It's not a worker's economy because right now, like I said, I've seen this firsthand. People with degrees are taking lower-paying jobs just to have a job, and a lot of them what they're doing is they're staying at the job they're at until they find something better, and then it just continues. It continues a cycle of people doing that. I've seen this firsthand, so I can't, you know, I, I can't say one way or the other that it's good because, like I said, everybody needs a job. I mean. Well, there's like a lot of people are going back to school to get some further training, and a lot of people are leaving the old, like, the U.S. was a manufacturing-based economy. It's not that way anymore. You're getting to be more of a service-based economy. At the same time, I'm telling you people, people need to understand, there's a third lane. This internet here, what you're seeing me on right here, this is a third lane people need to take advantage of. You can, I mean, I'm not saying everybody, I'm not saying everybody should open a business or whatever, but you can operate a successful business off the internet. If you got a if you got a product, a service, or something that's in demand, it's it's because at the end of the day, it's about credit and debits. It's about surpluses. It's about supplies. It's about positive and negative balances. If you got something that you feel you can offer to people, go to, go the internet route too. I mean, don't quit your job. I mean, I know there's a lot of people I know that just quit, and, but don't quit your job. If you got something you think that's really really be used to some people, put it out there on the internet. I mean, a lot of people are afraid of using the internet, which I, to this day, I don't understand why. If it wasn't for internet, you guys wouldn't see my lovely face. I'm sure you think I would pay money to go on these these radios and TVs? Now, I might do a, maybe a, a, a PBS something. I could probably swing by that, but if, honestly, do you think I could compete with the likes on ABC, MSN, NBC, and CBS, Fox, and CNN, and all that? Every, I couldn't compete with that. It'd be unrealistic. I'd be wasting my time. I'd be a fool to think otherwise. The internet is a nice lane to slide off into. 
I mean, people are coming on the internet, like I said, we like, and, and, and even a guy like me, even though I wear these this and I wear this, I'm still knowledgeable in the fact, in the facts of SEO for internet. I'm still knowledgeable in the facts of what it takes to get people to watch your videos. I'm still knowledgeable in the facts of the equipment that I use to make these videos. I'm still knowledgeable in the facts of the keys of marketing. I'm still knowledgeable in the facts of people skills. I have a lot of different skills and like I'm not gonna lie to you. I learned them through time, but I had to enhance them doing this internet thing. Because when you what you see right here is just one branch. I mean in the recession, like I said, I, when I came from, I was born in New York, I uh, Brooklyn, Brown Heights, what's up? I was, and then we moved to Pittsburgh. And we and, and during the seventies and eighties, that's when the Rust Belt started to form. That's when Carter Reagan fucked a lot of people over. And people were like I seen I've seen People whose families have probably who killed or when they lost a job. And at the same time, you lost some good paying jobs, so you had to be creative. There are people I know, there's people right now who I know who are working at Walmart. Two people at Walmart will feed your families in some depressed areas. Yes, your money stretches further, but it's still a depressed area. So they had to do what they had to do to get that money to keep your family afloat. And I still keep that same mentality no matter where I go. Because at the end of the proverbial day, Nothing is guaranteed for me. All this stuff can be taken away from me, and I'm back to zero. It happened to me two or three times in my life. Two for sure. Three was a three was iffy, but it's two for times for sure. Everything I lost, and I, I through hard work and perseverance, I wasn't one of these victim-ass people you see on YouTube always crying like they can't do this, they can't do that. And that's maybe another topic I talk about. But I'll touch about this lightly. Most of these so-called victims you see on YouTube, check their background. Somewhere along the line, they have filed out once, and they have filed out more than once. But now they're victims, and everybody's against them. But that's another topic for another day. This topic is about how you can get by on this recession. And I'm talking about the internet, and like I said, how, how do you see me on the internet? I knew, I knew absolutely zilch about as far as all this internet stuff, as far as connecting to the world, as far as the camera operation, as far as the technical operation, the editing, as far as marketing myself, as far as business opportunities, I knew zilch. What I had to do was, like I took, I, of course I, I went to college and learned some of this stuff, but as far as putting it to practice as far as for this. What I had to do, I had to study it on my own. I had to take the initiative, which is something that American people do, I'll say this, it's something that Americans are not willing to do or have. Initiative is what's something that would make this country the way it was. Initiative. Nowadays, everybody wants something given to them. Everybody wants, you know, everybody wants, to, everybody can have no skills, but you want to be the CEO. You don't want to work, to, there's no honor in working at McDonald's no more. You want to come in the door as a manager with no skill whatsoever. Half of y'all can't read, the other half can't write, and the third half is leaning on their deaf, dumb, and blind. And that's the problem with America. I had the initiative to want to learn all this. I had to, after I got laid off the second time, I said to myself, I have a backup just in case something happens. And what I did is I opened up my own video production company. My video videography, whatever you want to call it, I opened my own thing up. It's on the books, it's done, it's regulated, it's like I got government IDs, tax IDs, it's registered with the government, it's it's, it's all up and up. Now I'm at the luxury I am. I'm 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 not gonna lie, I'm pretty nice at my job right now. So I had the luxury of like, I'm like, if I don't like to, I do my videos mostly, most of the time, ten percent of my time, you see these me on these videos. And I do them on my off days, and I don't get that many of those. But we work a lot of overtime because we're in the food industry. And it's a factory type setting. So and, I'm, and I have a, and I have something else that a lot of you people need to understand. I have something called a trade skill. I can go anywhere in the country because I have a trade skill. But at the same time, I had initiative to work at that trade skill and to get to the point where people felt comfortable with me and to the word, if they call me like, at my job, I've been up to other plants because I'm good at what I do. Because I hate this, I keep the mentality of the old black folks back in the day. I keep the mentality of this, I gotta be 10 times better than you just to be average to consider good, good enough. I might be here, I might be here. My mentality is I gotta work ten times harder. I still, I still have that mentality today. I instill that in my kids because it's the work ethic. Now I know it may not be true. I know people say he's a good worker, 
but it's not it's not how I'm built. I can't rely on so and so saying I'm good. I have to rely on myself and my initiative. If you don't have initiative, that's no problem. That's not my problem. If you always if you're always in shit and don't know how to walk out of shit, that's not my problem. I walk around shit. I don't walk in shit. The fact of the matter remains is during the recession, and there's another thing. A lot of these mortgages, these balloon payments, they were paying like I seen it myself. I'm in Columbus, Ohio now. I seen when all these homes were being built in these subdivisions, and I seen a lot of my friends take these stupid contracts, which I'm gonna ask you, back when I was married. We were gonna go get a house and things start going left to center and I was like, nah, it ain't gonna work out. I seen some of these contracts. You pay like maybe four or five hundred a month, then all of a sudden it jumps up to two grand. It was, I was like, she got me messed up. But a lot of people fell for that. And a lot of people, that's why I don't feel sorry for a lot of people because if you would have read your contract, now for people that was in the contract all of a sudden they loaned on them, that's one thing. If you sign a contract dealing with that, that's your stupidity. But nowadays, nowadays there's no initiative. But it's back to the tech lecture at Ed. I went off for about a good five minutes. I can make two videos out of this. But the lessons we learned is the people are starting to hold on their money a little bit longer. People are watching the markets a little longer. People are, let me say, they're, they're getting more training. They're getting more, uh, they're, they're, the ones that were laid off are getting more training. Uh, people are taking advantage of a lot of stuff. And, a, and here's a bad effect of this recession. A lot of people in retirement can't retire. 